How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Sadastico. This is RimWorld Biotech. This is a Vampire Nation. And we're doing okay. We've got two prisoners, which I think we all agree are going to be valued members of this colony. Alb, Undergrounder, which is going to be perfect. Doesn't care about being inside. Doesn't care about darkness. Not that you will anyway once you are recruited to our way of thinking, which will be perfect. Um, and basically a jack of all trades, which is what we need, especially a miner with a little bit of passion, you know, that would be very nice. Neither incapable of hauling and cleaning, so I think that on its own is a celebration. Hot damn! And then gold, which cook, construct, plants, incapable of violence, which is always a bit negative, but overall not too bad. We'll probably be our hauler cleaner, because holder's abilities are... Pr well, saying that, but then we could just sit holder on intellectual i suppose but things to think about uh gold is recruited but however resistance is still 17 uh you're not converted and resistance 17 so it's going to take a while to get them to see our way of thinking woolly is doing well oh yeah because alb has an infection which it looks like the immunity is going to beat the infection to 100 so we should be fine we'll go speed free what are we doing this episode well we're going to expand... The problem is it doesn't sound sexy when I say it like this, but I promise it is sexy. I promise after this episode you're going to need a cold shower to calm down from the excitement that I was able to give you. Um, Bruh. So, we need to make this... Or we'd like to make the stockpile a little bit bigger, get some steel in the progress. But we're also doing this for chunks because... I don't really want to keep running across the map for chunks. So hopefully we can mine in order to get chunks like that well displayed holder god we're like um one of them selling channels we talk about it we do it got another bed being made because the idea here is we want to expand this and then move like the tailor bench and stuff like this down to this room down here which would be great i would like to mine here again for the chunks but then we could add another solar generator there which would be lovely jubbly so we've got plans we're a brewing we're a brewing Food is dwindling, but that's okay. Not nervous, we're not worried. Randy has been ramping up his attacks. So, feel good about things. And I'm really happy, like last episode, time out. The power conduits we hid in the walls, so at least then if fires and that sort of stuff happens, we're a little bit more protected. Lots of slate. Are all our traps slate now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's lots of granite over here. Yeah, it looks like we've gone into the slate bit. Yeah, another solar generator would be great because that would just then allow us to run the smither without the whole power of the colony going down. But... Well-oiled machine, as we always say. I've heard you say that 162 times. But gold, gold I'm never going to say gold's name right. And Alb are just going to give us that little something something. But he's going to ramp up the attacks, which I'm sure many of you are excited about. I will put at the bottom of this. Smell metal from slag, do forever. But I'll just leave it at the bottom because I'm not really too bothered either way. because we don't actually have much in the colony whatsoever yeah 77 psychic drone low mail and not the fun one because then the idea is then we can turn this into a proper garrison and a dining room to actually get proper like moods from it which would be nice we have to try and look after our colonists even if we don't want to who said that not me Right, so then that's all sorted. She feeling really happy. Low food, yeah. Are gonna have to set up some hydroponics at some point. Don't want to do it yet, though. That's the problem. Want to like plan it out properly, so it's gonna look all. Tasty, tasty. We got any wildlife? Nope. 
two prisoners. I mean, I don't want to eat anyone at this point, in all honesty. A muscle parasites on Woolly. I mean, he is a parasite, let's be honest. Have we got any quests? Always accept a quest for people to attack us. Because it's more food. We love to eat. Woody's making clothes. Hopefully we can get Tat Apparel gone. Just watching where he sends it though. Hopefully he was going to complete that. Alb looks like you'll be converted this episode, which will be great. Gold might get recruited. I mean, to be fair, we're at the beginning of the episode, so it's probably chances are they will. I think sometimes I still think we do, obviously, the littler episodes, which... I know, obviously, it's a chunkier video to watch, but it just means the progress that I can make is so much better, where a series before that would take me months and months and months to finish, now I can finish in a month more content for you guys. Get to hear more of my voice. And you love it! Hot yeah, damn. you do. Conversion, hey! Elbow. Recruit. Like, we end this episode with four people and a full freezer. I tell you what, if you don't need a cold shower after this episode, I, I don't know what floats your boat at that point. Because that would be bang a langin'. I mean, we will get to a point. And why I've been a little bit picky with colonists. Because now we have two colonists. Gold is the only one you can sort of say isn't like a crazy strong colonist. I would argue still what we need. Elbow's great. Great for what we're doing. Now we have four colonists. We all like them. Why is Wooly having a like? I say we all like them. Wooly, what, what's the matter? You're hungry. Oh, looks like we're starving to death. That would probably, that'd probably be it. <laughs> Health-wise, I mean, you're not starving to death yet, so are you that hungry? I prefer not to eat them. Problem is, it just then comes to... <sighs> right, so we can harvest these. It's not going to give us anything great, though, is it? Uh, what we're saying is we can't really stop ever not growing. Okay, so hold up. We're going to cook. Just making sure Wooly wasn't going to go grab that raw meat because it's much more beneficial to actually make meals. Okay, so I think what we're saying quite clearly is we're never going to be at a point where we can't have a grow zone. If that had rice, because rice has saved us multiple times in the past. Then we will have that grow zone there. Delete that zone, because I'd rather have that. Yeah, potato. Potato, luckily it will get set for potato, that's fine. And then that will be not a grow zone anymore. Okay, there we go. Yeah, rice there. Potatoes all up there. Sounds good. Could potentially wall this off if we really cared. I don't know if we do for the moment. We need to stop not grubbing. I keep thinking like we're doing absolutely like hunky dory. That power, power conduit destroy for the time being. Didn't we have a door there once upon a time? I obviously have destroyed the door rather than um power conduit, which is a silly moment. Not the worst thing I've ever done, not the best thing. Psychic drone is ending, that will help with Wooly's mood just not being as terrible as it is. And I love how Wooly's always getting, already getting like fans behind him in the comments. You know, you love to see it. Wooly needs to move out. Wait. I was defending him while he's getting bullied. You people in the comments are harsh. Pollution problem? I mean, 
I don't hate this. If it was food, I'd have to accept it. It's not, so I'm not. Well, he is not a bullied colonist pipe. Older is the champ, is the OG, is the vampire goddess. She is beautiful. She is stunning. I think I have a crush on her. This is getting weird. Bruh. Right. The thing is, we could actually... With these two colonists that are coming in... You actually do have a passion for plants. We're going to actually do a lot of growing. That can all be potatoes as well. Uh, Gould, how far are you away? So you're still a little bit away. We'll still get you before Alb. You can sit on growing. Your plants is five. Remind me what we need for Hillru. Is it like eight? It is eight. Yeah, we need to stop this not growing lark. It causes this problem, though, where then we have to, like, vote people out of who we want to eat. And while that's hilarious, at the same point, we do want to advance. Apparently. I mean, research, the problem is I really would like traders. Then is it a case of... Uh, what am I even thinking? What am I even thinking? This is in Hydropot. No, I'm looking for... Have I just made up a research? I'm like looking, I'm like, definitely not here. But like, you make the grass fertile. This is further up, it's probably further up, yeah. Moisture pump. No, it's not as good as what... This is not what I'm thinking. I don't know. Let's just pretend I won't look him. Sadistic Rage. Problem is, his holder might kill you. A no, holder, get, get in there. How badly are they starving to death? 15%. 71. If I had to eat anyone, Gould would probably be top of the list. I mean, Woolly would be quite close to the top. I'm going to heal this. We're going to have a, an evaluation. Because the only thing I don't like about Woolly is the Gourmet. So do we eat Woolly and then keep these two? I've got no loyalty. No loyalty in here. Are you serious? Because the veggies are going to be a while away. Nine. Sixteen on the rice. Medical emergency. Problem. Randy like, attacks us loads and sort of leaves us for a bit just to laugh at us. We are in extreme desert. So the conditions that we have to try and live in are extreme. There's not really too much we can do, even if we go onto the world map and we see, like, who is our neighbours. Our neighbours are still a while. Let's say we wanted to attack them. Form caravan and go there. 1.3 days, we don't even have the food to get there. But maybe that's something we need to look at a little bit more, but... We just don't have the means to even get there. Just starve the day. I know we can graze as we go. Like, it's just not going to work. Okay. So I was just thinking, we do have the insect jelly. We could just allow that to be given to people. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go food restrictions edit. Insect jelly allow. Does that allow it for you? I can't remember how I even banned your... How did I do that? Right. I can never remember how I do stuff in RimWorld. I feel like that's a problem. Oh, there we go. Food, lavish. Manage food restrictions. 
how much because you're like 91% nearly done. Hold a draft on draft. Right, feed gold because we don't want anyone to die here. Contrary to popular belief. Because we could be in such a powerful position, it's just a bit silly. I consume one of these. Does this do anything for hunger? Just out of curiosity. It does. Okay, so that's holder sorted. Willie, are you... Okay, so that's sorted. That's given us a little bit of time. Sometimes that's all you want. So the malnutrition is going down. I'd feel better if... Yeah. That's how I'd feel better if I actually saw the number go down. There's a little bit of time for Randy to hopefully chuck something at us. I would love to end this episode with four colonists. It might not happen just because luck of the draw, really. We probably should have made... Probably our fault for not making a dart for over here. Animal migration, I mean, we have to, don't we? So I'm going to have to draft. The problem is I bet they go the other way. They are. Not really much we can do about that. Well, Holder might actually be able to get there in time, actually. Good go. need to take some of these out. Oh, there's one. Right, we've got loads of blood at home, so Holder is going to have to just do a lot of jumps here. Just to try and get some food. We're at night, so she will be getting boosts. Willy can take that home, I guess. You're consuming it. Brilliant, Willy. Really, really helpful. I mean, if you need it, that's fine, but it's just like, it's not really helping us. Probably should have brought older sword to this and just like slayed them. Unless I accidentally hit consume on that. I think I might have, actually. Oh, because we're outside, so go unrestrict. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Pull that back. Um, thing is, we could get Holder to hold this back and cook, but I just think it's going to be more beneficial just making sure these don't leave the map. Right, we're going to have to... Oh, you won't haul anyway. But you will butcher. So let's kill one more. A shooting. Anyone ever hunted with a revolver before? Probably. There we go. So then what Holder will do, because Holder's still in a great mood. Come down, butcher. We'll lead draft on draft. Just do what you need to do. And then Holder's in a great mood. Holder will keep butchering. Ancient mech? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think we're going to go down that passage of gameplay, in all honesty. Right, there we go. That's a nice bit of meat. Holder, where are you going? No, I'd like you to cook up some of this so then the raw meat doesn't all get eaten. That actually gives us eight meals. Your mood is still okay, so I am going to get you back on butchering. Because, yeah, all the wildlife is gone, so I feel like we made the right decision. We've still got two more. Here, yeah, so that gives us a couple more days on top of days, okay. But we've got some rice growing here, which will hopefully, although it still grows at like 70%, at least it is growing. Holder's move is, mood is dropping. I literally want her to cook these up. Smoke leaf binge. Have we got smoke leaf, have we? I think it's just where you got addicted. 
What's your needs like? You're fine, so I'm going to get you to butcher. And butcher that last one. I know you're tired, but it's more important. More important making sure that food gets back because it will deteriorate. Spoil, and we really don't need that. No, we had food delivered to us. We don't want to then just leave it outside. But Holden will have a breakdown, so bring you back. Draft on draft, then go to sleep. Perfect. Willie wants to do drugs, but we have no drugs, so unlucky! So, that was pretty good. Tell me it was good. Tell me I'm good. Tell me I'm good. Tell me that was good. Tell me I'm good. Yep. I'm very happy with them turn of events. If you're going to keep eating, I'm actually going to um, attack you. Ready with the pause, so if he goes for another meal, Holder's going to wake up and just batter him. Do I really need to do that? I do, don't I? Because you're wasting too much food. Okay. Transport pod crashed. Luxembourg. Luxembourg. Slow learner, jealous. What a terrible colonist. Prosthetic heart, don't love that. I mean, in an ideal scenario, we probably kill you. Oh, sorry, kill Gould. Replace you with Gould. But, apparently we're being nice to Gould for whatever reason, so. I mean, we've put in the groundwork here. We've built a relationship. We can't. We have to be loyal. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, we're loyal. We're loyal. You are fake news. We're able to make some blocks, which is actually handy, because our traps have been down for quite a while. Board resistance will get broken. Okay, if we don't end the episode with both of them, then we're definitely going to end the episode with one of them. I think we can agree that will be quite bang a -lang I need to keep that door open, so if raids come, they will target stuff in this room. Or blocks are being made. I think that's more because we're unrestricted now. But we need the slate to be able to replace the traps. I think we can all agree. Yep. Just a food situation that makes me a little bit nervous. Like, Holder's told me to, like, have faith, but... Yeah, it's just un uncertain times. Like, that's why I wanted to, like, especially with insect jelly, like, realising, oh, don't forget that. Because it's just like we go from two colonists to suddenly four, like, the production value of having four colonists over two. Or, like, I don't need to tell you, pie people, is huge. What we're going to be able to do is going to be so good. We've got a heat wave, but we're fine. Because everything indoors is air conditioned because we love our colonists. Wildlife is an iguana. Let's set to hunt. Have we got a hunter? We don't. Holder can be a hunter. Congratulations. Can't afford not to go get it. More granite blocks would be nice. Apparently beggars can't be choosers though. Still got the tattered apparel. We haven't really, didn't really get a hang of that this episode, but I just think that's how the episode has gone. Had to prioritize other things. Um, I probably could push tailoring to two, so it gets prioritized a little bit more. Always want Willie to worry about hauling and cleaning, because when that gets too bad, the moods do fall. Please say there's not like a home zone over here you're rushing to. You're burying a colonist, apparently. Ever? Holder. Is this person up here dead yet? They are. Allow. Holder. Cool. Holder. Butcher. 
Right, then Holder will go get that other human body. Go butcher that. Which means a little bit more meat. A little bit more meat. Mechanoid cluster. That's not what we want. Weather controller. Fog. I don't hate that. We're not actually equipped to deal with mech clusters at all, which is not good. Because actually that's the perfect mech cluster to get rid of. Did you come up over here, stand here, smoke launcher, and it's going to be very easy to get rid of that. But obviously without that smoke launcher, something that's easy to get rid of suddenly is just like a pain. Let's keep everyone in area two just so I can control them for a little bit. Go holder now wearing human meat, uh, uh, human meat, human leather. So gear wise, it's is it because oh, it's because the mask as well. We make the mask here. I can't actually remember. So details. So we always always have one. Make it a silver because our girl is worth it. But then make sure it's above fifty-five. Have we got a spare one laying around? Have we? Apparently we do. Only allowed ingredients. There we go. Now it's allowed. Two. Two of everything, just so we're ready. Dusters will help out a lot. So what is the temperature you can actually withstand? 42 degrees. Pretty cool. So actually nice to see some clothes is actually getting made. Just need to make sure they're not being stored outside, which they don't look like they are, so that's fine. Wouldn't mind another shelf here. Yep. A lot of things we want to do. Low food. Really? Really, game? I didn't know that. Didn't know. A raid. A mech hive rave. Rave. How bad is this? Pikeman and a cipher. Is that the only... We are going to have to be careful here. Let's keep everyone inside. Just doing a wide view just so I can make sure that there's no... They are going to prepare for a while. Which I do like the mechs do that now. I like that the prepare for a while is a bit more settled in. But do I just like it because it's a bit easier? Maybe. Animal migration. Disappointing. Love to have killed some of them. Okay, the mech hive are beginning their assault. The reason why it's always a disappointment when they come is because, you know, we're not getting any food from it. Flash storm, we don't care. Then here come the ciphers, so we need to make sure our party people are ready. We'll use combat commands just because we've got no reason not to. been great to take him out before he hit a trap. Three components from that. So what that tells me already is we're going to have to use Holder on melee. Sort of is what it is. So... Holder's going to run out. I like. Who done that? Long sword. Okay, good teamwork. Will he back out? Nice. We're actually taking him out quite easy. I don't remember pikemen being taken out this easy. Don't get me wrong. I know they're not like mega tough, but get closer so we don't friendly fire. Nice. Good teamwork. Great teamwork. We don't even have a machining table up. I mean, one problem at a time, I guess. Um, this stockpile in here can also... Mechanoid corpses can go in here as well. That's absolutely fine. Flash job is over. Then whatever. Okay. 
Would both of these be... So Gould is the one incapable of violence. Yep. Albo, what would you be? Probably a shooter. Good thing about you being in our religion, although at least you get shooting bonuses. This might be a colony that actually... Outside vampires, there's probably not really a need to have melee, just because vampires are mega strong anyway. Um, so what I would like to do is get that shelf, click that, think, and all apparel will be put on there, so that's perfect. We're making cowboy hats as well. Shade cone. Nine. Where well, we'd be making out of human leather. Use a six heat. What does a cowboy hat do? Where is the cowboy hat? Who knows? And the cowboy hat does what? Uh, roughly the same. So then I suppose that it's going to come down to armor. So 12, 4, and 30. Imagine the armor's better, you'd, you'd think. Looking at this very quickly, so like... It's exactly the same, doesn't it? So should we go for a shade cone? Should we make a shade cone? Or do we want to be cowboys? I feel like we're going to do cones. Because, like, we're vampires, so we wear cones. We're a bit gothic. I feel like that's what we're going for. I feel like I'm going too much into the fashion scape. I mean, I love it. Uh, human leather, because we have so much human leather. It's a bit cray-cray. Gould is going to be recruited in the second time... Let me speak to her. I was about to say second time of asking, but pretty sure we imprisoned her, like, randomly. <laughs> I want to join you! Oh, I'm in a prison. This is awkward. Oh, have you heard about our Lord and Saviour? What? <laughs> uh... yeah. They love it, really. I mean, the fact that they want to stay shows they love us. Vindication! Albie's going to get recruited this episode, absolutely. Probably, like, right at the end, though. Good to get Gould with us straight away. Gould's just going to be more hands on deck. The rice is about 50%, or just shy of that. The potatoes are about 31 okay. Should have a good harvest. Probably need to make the freezer a little bit bigger in a minute. Worry about that in a moment. Then the next priority will be getting another solar panel up, just then we can have the smither on, like we said. A little bit of mining to be done there, and we did find a bit of steel there, which again is pretty balling. Okay, resistance getting broken everywhere. Holder is the girl. She just knows what it is to be about it. Yeah, we're going to need a food harvest, because food-wise we're just running out. Consistently running out. Why do people need food? Do you know what I mean? Outdated way of eating. A wildlife. Nothing. Quests. Nothing that really gives us anything. Transport pod crash. And I feel like this is more the game telling us to get another colonist. However, beggars can't really be choosers. I go area two. Area two, I'm going to expand. There we go. So, Holder, I'd like you to come out here, please, with the quickness and slay. Be fair, if you come out and do it. So, does blood feed? I want to see if blood feed does anything for food. I want to kill you.
probably should have stripped you first, but to be fair, your clothes weren't actually that good, so I definitely knew that. Um, so then come and butcher, please. Wait that you drop that meal. Because you're allowed in that zone. Countdown activator, then that turns on. There's not a mortar or anything, so we don't need to worry. Now you're coming to get that meal, whatever. Where'd that dead body go? Did you just eat it on the way or something as like a little snack? Oh no, it must be, yeah, yeah. Okay, four meals, we last a couple more hours. Four days, I should say. Resistance, we're going to get them both in a minute. It's going to be bagging. Basically, the rice we're holding out on. Get a few harvests of rice, probably, before we get the potatoes, but then we'll get so many more potatoes. That will sort us out for a little bit. Like, we're panicking because of food, but we're getting... Randy on this difficulty is quite nice for that. There we go, we got gold. Oh, luckily gold keeps all of the stuff from before. And what we will do is... Older come off, grow and plant, cut. Stay on construction because I don't mind you helping out. Gold, I'd rather you focus on growing, plant, cutting, then construction. Because I just think that's going to work really nicely. Because the growing and plant cutting where, you know, you should get it done relatively quickly. And then that means holder can work. We're cutting blocks, making artwork, making the area beautiful, hopefully getting us some, like, mood boost because of that. Yeah, Gould is not having a good time. Blisteringly hot. I'm going to say it's something to do with the parker you're wearing. Doesn't help, does it? Does it? Yeah, what are we prioritising here, then? Willy, can you get on here? Because Gould is going to need that dust start lickety quick. She's going to have a breakdown anyway for her troubles. I could actually set her inside for the moment. Because inside it's a little bit nicer. So that dust start... Are you making a dust star? Oh. Come on, come on. Right, and then come where you can have a dust start. There we go. Now suddenly you can withstand temperatures up to 39, which is perfect. So what I want to do really is assign come in here. Misc. We don't want anyone wearing parkers. Tribal wear. Or anything like that. I probably need to make a new outfit, which is the same thing, so no parka, but this is going to be for a holder. The holder can do whatever, but then these guys on headgear, clear all. Where is, yeah, just the shade cones, just for the time being. There we go. Also, while we're getting our clothing up to standard, the minute something drops to 50%, just drop it. So then we're not wearing tattered apparel anymore. We have enough human leather that we should be getting our clothing line up. Needs. Slept in the heat. I mean, I could make this a bit cooler if you want. Willie, what are you actually wearing? Heatwave is over. It's in for pants. Whatever. Why have you made three of them? Oh, because people are wearing them. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, okay. Older, what were you doing? 
feeding ambrosia. Okay. Why? Whatever. Food is dwindling. Woolly health. Consume a hemogen pack. Eat some blood. Something. Great, but... but it's better than you starving to death. Food is a board. Well, you can... Go everywhere in area two now, so knock yourself out. Attack the peril is a slight problem. Board. Check what everyone's doing. So hold a sleep and gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Our traps being made, that's fine. I right, just need to get lucky with an event now. I suppose what we could start doing is orders smooth suck surface down here. Then we need to start moving some of our workstations in here. Just for the time being at least. To be honest. So it's to make a little bit more room. Then we can have the four beds in here. Because you're going to recruit. And then we're not going to have the fourth bed for you. And it's going to be another mood loss. But there we go. So because we have three people, we can now have an additional role, which is pretty good. Hot damn! Uh, a doctor with a passion is actually nice. So we'll take Wooly off of doctoring. Old will do it because you're at seven. I know you don't have a passion for it, but... Seven's a decent enough level. Um, yeah, so we won't have you at Cook, because Holder's got that down, but we'll, then we can take Holder off Art and Craft, which means then Holder will get to Research a bit more. We'll take you off of... No, I'll leave you on Mining, but I'll probably just pump the Research up to three, so then you'll get to it a little bit more. Construction... Uh, yeah, come off. So, on that means, we have a little bit, it's going to be good, it's going to be very, very good. A lot of people that like cooking, funny enough, so when we have to double up cooking later on, it's going to be quite good for us. So, Elbow, what would I like you to do? I'd like you probably to prioritise crafting, then smithing, then art, because Wooly, I feel like, has got the tailoring down to a T. But I think I'm happy with that. Like I said, we've got four colonists, which is big for the episode, but if we can finish it with a little bit of food as well, it would be great. Can any of this rice be harvested? Not yet. 62%. We're not miles away. The same aspects. Like health... Muscle parasites. I'm just seeing if anyone's starving. 3.2, so... Starting to starve. Actually, it'd probably be beneficial making this for colonists. Then Elbow can sleep in here. It's not actually, like, a shocking room. It's actually a nice room. Rather than sleeping on the floor and getting the negatives because of that. Woolly's in a breakdown, which is a little bit awkward. Just because we did want um, Woolly to be making the clothing and stuff like that. The game let me know we're starving. Are we, game? I wasn't aware. I thought we were rocking. I mean, it's just sit here and... Open event comes, I guess. Like, sadly, that's where we're at for our own demise. Definitely not. I mean, it's just a case of yeah, swallowing our pride and just seeing this. That if we have to eat someone, 
who do we eat? That's the only thing that we have to think to ourselves. It's either going to be Woolly or Gould. I think Albo's a really good colonist. So I wouldn't particularly like to get rid of. That would be perfect if we could end it with four, but... Cows join. Hot damn! I don't think Gould will make it before she has a breakdown. Cargo pods. Ops. Nearly food. Maybe you want haul, but if I click to butcher, I'll take one back to butcher. Elbow. I'll try and get you to haul. I don't know if you will, though. The breakdown, I don't mind so much. Alders, a lot of that bad mood was because you were outside. Let's try it. That's a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. Hot That's damn. a lot of meat. That's a lot of meat. Hot damn. Come on. Need to get these meals cooked rather than us eating raw foods. Elbow, bringing the other one in. Coming in clutch. Eating food. There we go. Don't starve. Gold, come and eat some food. We've got food. Food is back on the menu, boys. Come on. I am back. What it do, baby? Hey, hold up. You're going to have to attack gold if you kill her. Well. I drop your sword. Go to melee. Problem is, Holder will win this. It's just hopefully gold doesn't die because of we have to drop the sword, otherwise Holder is just going to literally go in with a sword and smash your face on. Holder just keeps everyone in order, like no one messes with Agal. Tend without medicine, because you don't deserve medicine. I mean, the only good thing about it is obviously, you know, we come out and she's got a plus 40 mood boost, so that's pretty sexy. You need to get, um... Oh, yeah, I didn't mean to that. Yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. I mean, we got the food up, so that is, that is... Um, Albo can then cook for a bit. Keep the fort down. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Did, so the zis that went off, did that take out our power? Right, we know the power problems. Sort of know the power problems. That's a case of once we get on our feet, then we get another solar generator up, so... Not too shabby. Be worse, I guess. We got food. That's the most important bit. Elbow's cooking up a storm, so at least then, yeah, that'll probably take us to the end of the episode. I'd like to, yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't even see that cow there. Like that will take us to the end of the episode. We're having a party. I mean, does Holder think we're having a party? Like we're all having a party, and Holder's just like having a breakdown. Like, poor Holder. I mean, it helps because it gives everyone a mood boost on top of everything else, so I'm happy with that for sure. Yeah, then I don't think there's anything else we really need to worry about for the rest of the episode, which, well, I shouldn't really jinx that because Randy can just throw a um, spanner in the works at any moment.
Go, go, go. We're looking good. I think, to be fair, that them cows were like a blessing in disguise. Elbow is able to make the most of this. Just a case of getting Holder out of this strop as quickly as possible. Then it's actually been a really good episode. Ended the episode with four people. Can't really grumble on that too much. I'm wondering whether to make this room. I'm thinking four colonists. We'll probably keep four colonists for quite a while. Instead of like moving all these workstations down here. What we could do. Just expand that. Um... We are making slate, and these traps aren't really going up very quickly. Give everyone in Area 1 for the moment, see if they get done. We could make this into, like, the garrison rec room. And then this can still be the work room, is what I'm actually thinking. And then the prison can just be the other side of the freezer, I guess. Because, like, what are we actually getting from the rec room? So we're getting a plus five. Get a minus five because of roll. Sort that out in a minute. So I believe your roll, you need a veil. What have we got to even make that? Not really anything. Allow all, I guess. Okay, I can't see one there, funny enough. Uh, oh no, it's tainted. Oh no, no, there we go. It's poor, but it's 70%. Give that to you, and then we'll go social. Give the morale guides. Lovely, lovely, jubbly. Have a party. It's a party atmosphere in here, party people. But then that just removes everyone having that minus five mood loss. And we have to, like, tackle mood losses as and when we see them. That's an easy one to just to quickly get rid of. It's like, why would we sit on there any longer than what it's got to be? And then when we come back next episode, then we're going to get at least the rice harvest. That's about to hit 90%. The potatoes are 50, so... Yeah, probably we'll get the potatoes to the last end of next episode, which would be pretty banger langham. But then other than that, I think it's going to be a case of, yeah, making this the garrison, moving this out. Just whether we, how long we want to have the garrison for. In all honesty, Albo, do you construct? You don't. So I'm going to put you three, three, and then four on construct, because you do have a slight passion for it, and we have got stuff we need to construct. The other thing that we probably need to do next episode is get the machining table up. Like, what do we need for it? We need five components. Get the traps up. Get that mined. Get another solar generator. That has to be the plan. Albo, do you mine? What do you do? Putting them at four, but it's not something that I'm, like, massively prioritizing. It's more to be, like, so if I want to quickly do this, they'll get it done. Right. Like you to find this. We're getting chunks as well. Then we can put the at least put the building down for it. Like mine, mine, elbow. Mine. Right. Then we go build copy there. So then we've got two power generators there. That's not roofed, so we'll still get the full power when it's sunny. And then get down the back. So what we don't want is that to set on fire. We can't actually get to it or something silly like that. That's going to be banger langham for us. Other than that, put these back on clothing, which I think we can agree is all important. What do we need for this? We need 100 steel, which we do have, and then we need three components, which we do have. Yeah, we've got the components here that we will nab eventually. And then Holder gets back on her feet, and then she shows us what it's really about. 
then gold when you wake up. Um, oh, an excellent shade cone. It's, it's now crafting is 12. So, yeah, we've got a good group, a good group at the moment. Like, the thing is, when we get, because the thing with Albo being bored is because we don't have the smithing, the machining table and that sort of stuff up, when that gets up. So maybe we should start to do that then. So I'll queue up the order to mine that. And to queue up the order to mine more still in here. And then we're queued up to then get the machining table. Because then we do need the smoke launcher and stuff. Because we still have the mech cluster up here. Smoke launcher will be able to take that up really easy. Especially making sure we get proper weaponry. Because while, like, while we're doing well... No, better weaponry just means we're going to be able to slam through stuff. We do need to expand this, though. This being too small is just going to cause us problems because we're not having enough time to shoot stuff before it's, like, in melee with us. Yeah. No corpses. No corpses. Let's just hold his personal armory. All right, let's turn on that. Who is our best constructor? Wooly. Wooly's asleep. Can you get that solar generator up? Because then not only have we ended this episode with four colonists, we've actually got our power sorted. It just helps ne next episode us not having to do as much. And because we want the smelter on to be able to get rid of some of these weapons anyway, we get a little bit of steel back from them. Power is up. Cool, cool, cool. So then the smither can then be going full time. Obviously, we're going to turn it off when we don't need it. Why are you not putting clothes on? I don't know why you're naked, though. I just want you to, like, put your own clothes on. Don't really know what to tell you. So when they make, wake up, I'll give them... Um, transport pod. I need to make sure everyone's up at night, to be honest. Transport pod, crash. Oh, you're getting out. Damn, damn, damn. Not really much we could have done there. Meat leaving. Hey, that's what we want to see. You go down there. Perfect. Many enemies. Someone joins two raids. Except, you better have Holder was up, but it is what it is. Are you a good colonist? Um, terrible. Probably will need to eat you though be five. Holden needs death rest. I mean, Holden needs to get out of this breakdown. And then we're going to have a big attack ready for next episode. Um, I don't really know what we're going to do with you. But to be fair, you'd be perfect for growing and plant cutting, so actually you're a, quite a good colonist, so we'll go to five colonists. And then because we've got... Then you can even... Research, so you'd probably be better as a researcher as well. So you grow, you plant cut, then you sit on research to help hold around. We can get another research bench. The thing is, because Woody's got this, we can just do convert now. So you can get up, try and convert passively. It will take a while. Distrust men, fine. Brawler, okay. Could potentially turn you into the other a vampire because then you'd have brawler as well as vampire, right? looks like her. So you'd be pretty strong. I'm just going to have to work out how many vampires we can have. But for, to have someone like that can do that plant cutting means we can take other people off of the plant cutting. So we'd take gold because you've got the double passion. We'd take you gold off altogether. Then gold can focus on construction. Take elbow off of cooking. Gold can go on cooking, so we've got the double cooks. Elbow. Take you off that, take you off that. So I think like we're getting a good mixture of everything starting to get done. So I'm okay with that. We will just have to passively recruit you. 
which does take a while because then that's got to restore. But then we come back next time for a big attack, get some food in our belly. If you got to this part of the video and if you liked, give us a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.